What's your name? <laughs> what's my name? Um, my name is Lee Harvey Roswell. <laughs> okay, what's your real name? <laughs> Lee Harvey Roswell. Is it really your real name? Mm -hmm. It's such a, you know, because Lee Harvey Oswald, I mean, that's instantly, you know, what, you know, I My think. parents had a funny sense of humor, throwing Harvey in there. <laughs> no, that's not my real name at all. Um, well, I mean... You don't have to expose your real name, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I won't, but that's not a really, that's cooked up name. <laughs> it sticks in the brain. <laughs> Okay, and where are you, where are you from, Scott? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, from a little town in uh, New York called Freefall, which uh, is hard to find on a map. Did you go to elementary school and high school and uh, I, there, or what was? I that? went to a Catholic elementary school, St. Mary's, and then uh, from there, I went to the public high school and dropped out uh, in tenth grade, I think. Yeah. And then from there, uh, I I, I kind of did this weird thing. I, almost like to prove to my parents that I was going to uh, continue in education. I just started spending days in the library and that I would uh, start just picking obscure subjects that uh, were of interest to me. And to me, I thought like, well, this is providing an education. <laughs> and in a way it was, but uh, in a way it was just filling my head with abnormal facts. <laughs> so. A mall stick. A mall stick, okay. These days I just use a cane. It's really any... Uh, a cane. Yeah, a vaudeville cane. Um, <laughs> Is that it? The, the striped one in the back, you can just see a bit of it. Oh, that's yes. that's the one it's I peeking out. <laughs> do you want me to pull it out? Sure. <laughs> um, that's more like the showy. Whoops. Oh no problem. It's just one more. This is uh, more like the showy one, going out and uh, it, you know the great thing about it is that it, it it's a uh, antique from uh, the vaudeville days and it has this extended neck that you don't usually find on a cane oh, right. which was for doing that but it's also great when you have your hands full with like an easel and whatever you just do that and, um, and then to use it as a mall stick mm. do like tricks <laughs> <laughs> um, you just hold it uh, Usually there's a cloth ball at the end, and that's so that you're not uh, leaving any marks on the painting from your point. I, I just kind of work around that and sometimes make a mistake and have to fix it. But So, you know, you can work any point in the painting without getting your hand in there. But that's, uh, that's what my uncle taught me. I would define flash mob as a secretive coming together of a group of people for some instanta instantaneous, typically irrational act uh, as a prank on the general public as an audience. Um, I guess the, some of the best examples of that, I don't know, this city has a lot of uh, that going on. There's continual uh, zombie flash mobs. Uh, that seems like it's almost bi-monthly these days, so there's that. There's always the uh, Brides of March. Everyone dresses up as a bride and runs around the city going bar to bar. We, 
I would I would paint on the street, and then a friend of mine he would perform music, and we had another friend who would also accompany him with the music, and he would sometimes uh, recite poetry, and it just got to be like this uh, weird little art collective around a trash can on the street, and. Um, because they were playing music, I had to kind of be the barker. So while I was painting, I would we'd come up with themes to get people involved. Um, can I swear? <laughs> okay. Um, like one day we were being harassed by the police, and so I just started telling everybody it's fuck the police day and <laughs> so we had this whole fuck the police day thing that uh, we managed to get people to throw down money uh, people can get behind fuck the police <laughs> so like we would come up with things like that and that was kind of clowny 